everybody, it's October 8th and I'm Anthony Snyder with my daily update. First of all, I got a stack of stuff that went up last night, then I got a stack of stuff that's going to be going up tomorrow. And, you know, I just want to say one thing about, you know, I'm missing New York Comic Con right now. It's a real bummer that that's not happening. It's a beautiful day out, it's a beautiful early fall crisp day and, you know, we should be loading in and getting stressed out about the unions not letting us park in the right place to get all their stuff in and having to hand carry everything. And But I'm really missing the, the business that I do with my customers there, and, you know, my regulars and all the people that were flying in from uh, South America and Europe and that show is just growing and growing and and uh, I was loving it and I, I you know, I'm the, I have the largest setup there. I have like what did we have last year? We had uh, we had eight booths last year. We had uh, eight or nine the year before that. Yeah, and if uh, uh, yeah, so I talked to my rep, and they're gonna get some stuff going, probably around the middle of the year next year. He said so. That's gonna be announced at the show. Um, so. Looks like there's probably not going to be an early uh, Chicago in the year, which was the last big show that we actually did this year. Uh, so we're, we're missing it, uh, you know, and I'm missing the business, the, the revenues, the buying and selling and the action. Uh, there's no place I'd rather be right now than right there on that floor setting up and doing deals. So I missed you guys out there. So let's keep it going here with the mail order and uh, getting the site uh, busy. Uh, what we got here is stuff that, you know, from recent deals, this stuff has been doing really well. It's Lankford Romance Pages. This guy was really strong artist, a really strong style for for romance, and the girl looks like Bridget Bardot, and, and it's just really fun stuff. Look at that. If that's a, that's very Bridget Bardot to me. And uh, then we have oh, we have some some prelims and layouts from Luis Dominguez. This stuff has not seen the light of day and ever. So and this is a Don Heck layout for a page. And these are Luis Dominguez cover layouts. Uh, let's, this, I have this piece, I, and this is James Arness from Gunsmoke. Hey, my uh, lovely assistant, come here and hold stuff down. It's a windy day, I gotta get a thing with, uh, here, over here. Thanks. Say hi to everybody. Hello. Oh, this is really cool. This is a, a, a horror cover layout. Uh, Lewis was, uh, really known for his horror covers and did a ton of them at DC just a ton and then there's some miscellaneous work like story illustration from from Argentina he was from Argentina this says 1956 on it somewhere I think I saw it. oh 54 yeah uh, this is like an, some kind of Audubon thing he did these are uh, layouts for birds and if you like birds I like birds I like birds and some historical stuff. Oh, this one's really nice. Look at this sexy lady pirate. Oh, special discount on stuff that blew away. Oh my God. I don't think there was ever a pirate that was that sexy. Okay. So there's some uh, bigger stuff, bigger price tags. This is a Kurt Schaffenberger Unknown Worlds cover. And this is all art. And this is all art. The, the lettering is art. And um, this is kind of a, a stat that was uh, touched up. So that I have. Uh, this is a, a batch of stats from the Russ Manning estate. His file copies. We have some more kitty art, some Superhero Squad and Kid Flash, some miscellaneous hero stuff, 
Bill Anderson. It's windy out today, so we're gonna. I'm ordering a special tent with walls, especially for windy days here in Munaki, New Jersey, where we're always buying and selling. This is cool. This is a Robert Vaughn Man from Uncle kind of promo art that Wynn Mortimer did. We have some Nightwing pages again. Some more Nightwing. That's a nice splash. Uh, one of my favorite artists uh, that did the uh, did the horror mags, Gonzalo Mayo. Now this is finished black and white art that was done for the magazines because the magazines couldn't be in color after the Comics Code of Approval because, you know, th this showed, uh, you know, certain naughty bits and was more adult-oriented. So the adult-oriented magazines had to be in black and white. But what these guys did, ended up doing, was creating this amazingly great pages that had great eye appeal because it was finished black and white art. This is the way it went to press. Uh, it wasn't colored, it wasn't, uh, you know, um, made any different than the way it was. This is some Phil Jimenez pages, and uh, Superman by Ed Eduardo Barreto. Oh, still going through and getting some, uh, some really cool Humberto Ramos stuff up. This is a nice double page spread with a bunch of scrawls and Cree. And, uh, very cosmic -y, Marvel Cosmic. And, oh, so I got some Ripley's, believe it or not. This is like, uh, who'd you say this girl was again? Catherine. Catherine. I forgot her last One name. of the Henry VIII wives that got beheaded. She's a ghost running around. So if you like hyster hyster hysterical, his historical uh, horror stuff, that's fun. Now these are really nice. These are these are you don't come by these too much. Large art DC romance pages, and uh, we looked these up. We had to look them up. It was tough to make the call about who did them, but it said it was Bob Oxner large art. Now Bob Oxner actually lived around here, so it makes sense that you know his art was uh, hanging out in North Jersey. Really nice, large art DC pages. And this one, uh, Herb Novick, a little different style. This one I, is a Millie the Model page, and it's a nice end page. I actually thought maybe Dan DiCarlo had worked on this. Very archy, very, I mean, that's, that's Betty, right? I mean, it's crazy. So here's another black and white horror thing from Charlton. A nice uh, cover recreation by Al Bigley, who is an animated style guy. This is a uh, production piece. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, Bugs Bunny cover. So this is another piece that I found uh, kind of unearthed. It was put on hold by somebody, but uh, never, never uh, worked out. Uh, this one and the mask cover, but the mask cover already sold by Bruce Tim, and that's Tesla Strong, a little play on uh, the scientist Tesla and and uh, a girly superhero. Now this piece is two actually two dailies of Pogo by the Hall of Famer Walt Kelly. Now as far as you know Disney stuff and. You know, the early Disney stuff that he did is like, it's it's just a really amazing stuff. He was a great, great cartoonist. And doing a strip was what all these guys wanted to do because that was the best way to make money. You know, if you did pages for a comic book, you know, back in the day, you, you know, these guys were maybe only paid like $5, $6, $7, you know, went to $10, and then went to $12, $15. You know, through the 60s, they really weren't making uh, that much money. So what they could do and what their, their hope and aspiration always was, was to get a strip. You know, get a strip. And because if Pogo ran in a thousand newspapers, you know, like there were back then, there were thousands of newspapers, and Pogo ran in it, 
uh, they got royalties for every newspaper it was in. It, you know, they got rich. They could get rich. They could do very, very well. Uh, you know, maybe it was a penny, maybe it was two cents, but that added up to a lot more money than getting, you know, only getting, you know, five, ten dollars a page. Okay, so Pogo is amazing. I love Walt Kelly art. All right. So this is a set of Nick Cardi sketchographs. Uh, they call these sketch effects, sketch cards, DC Universe. Okay, these were specially done for a special DC insert set for of live art that were put in a card set. Now the sketchograph guys out there, this is a whole collecting uh, uh, niche an area that you know these things could do very well as an auction you know like a thousand plus dollars for the whole set these are this is one of each one of what Nick Cardi did for this project and these are very hard to find and especially as a whole set so that's really cool oh here's something that uh, came in the mail today what do we got uh, uh. Oh wow, that was my computer. Okay, so here's some other large art that's going up today. We got a Infantino flash page. It's a it's one of those ad pages that had an ad at the bottom, but you have flash fighting reverse flash and who's this dude? Mr. Element. Alright. So again, more large art. Infantino Strange Adventures. This, this, uh, these tentacles are stealing the Statue of Liberty. So that's fun. That's probably a cover scene. And this one is a cover scene. That for sure, because I saw this one. Uh, you know, the Flash getting magic. You know, out of his, he's getting uh, magic out of his uh, costume. So it's sort of a transition page that everybody likes. Now this page and this whole story, uh, this was probably sent out, you know, from a letter writer back in the day. They would send whole stories. If they, you sent a letter in and they published the letter, they would send out you art pages or a whole story. That's how a lot of these whole stories stayed together because they were sent out to fans and they kept them. So this fan back in the day laminated this page. Now. If you don't like it, you know, just, I guess, you know, just don't buy it. You know, that's the problem with that thing. Because if it bothers you that it's laminated, you know, that's that. I haven't priced it yet. I'm going to see comparables and probably mark it a little lower. But it's a great page. It's a very desirable page. A flash in action against a villain. And um, uh, let's say that, you know, CGC has a new term for this with their conserved, <laughs> that's a conserved art page. But uh, from what I hear, the whole story was laminated back in the day, and that's the way it is. All right, so these a couple of large art Western pages, Hopalong Cassidy and the Lone Ranger that features Tonto. And I got a bunch of horror stories in. Ripley's, Grimm's Fort, Fairy, t Grimm's, Grimm's Ghost Stories, and there's some Twilight Zone, but uh, there's a customer that already has kind of dibs on those, so those are going to be going up, and then, you know, once in a while, you know, people ask me, oh, Anthony, what do you collect? And it's like, this is a guy that I absolutely love. This is a guy that yeah, just really catches my eye anytime I see a piece of his art and it's it's Berkey art so Berkey is really super well known for his spaceships and the sci-fi covers he did for paperbacks but this is like set design art for an MGM production called Penelope and I was looking around for credits for like set design art, but I couldn't really see his name featured in the credits. But uh, being a, a New York guy, and uh, this, this looks like 
looking down, you know, right there is like Central Park. You're sitting, you're looking down like 7th Avenue or 5th Avenue, you know, looking down one of the avenues in New York City. So that's in Midtown. And my parents' apartment was in Midtown, so I think that's really cool. I'm gonna have this framed really nicely and, and look at it at my house. So that's the update for today. Remember, we're always buying and selling here at 43 Romeo in Munaki. You can bring by your collection, you know, small or large, you know, any, any size we're looking at. We took in a, 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 a nice uh, sporting goods collection uh, today with a lot of signatures, mini helmets, a racing flag. Uh, so that walked in today. And we are doing more put-ups every day in the art site. And we're doing a lot more uh, stuff for New York Comic Con for that website listing. So if you're, you're wandering around uh, the New York Comic Con listing, we're, you know, we'll be up there too, trying to support that list. And uh, the other thing is, is that I, I've gotten involved with the Baltimore Comic Con and we're going to be doing a live uh, claim it or auction type thing uh, with some material and items from the retailers to try to uh, make up for some of the revenues uh, that we're losing in that show too. I mean, I just can't tell you how much you know business uh, I'm losing, you know, this week to, to Baltimore. It's uh, you know, it's it's just. Ugh, it's heartbreaking, really. And uh, I don't know, I'm missing all my customers out there. So if you have any deals to do, if you want to come by, do a deal on camera, or you want to just uh, come by and say hi and uh, talk about your collection, we can do that too. So I'm Anthony Snyder from Anthony's Comic Book Art, and keep calm and keep collecting.